Good morning, dear students. We will continue together lesson two, Properties of Light, which is part three. And today is session 14, Wednesday, 13th of May, which is done by Dr. Marie to grade six. Yesterday, we talked together about how the matter interacts with light. Today, we will talk together how does light act with the mirrors. All of you, at the beginning of the day, or before we go shopping, or before we go any place, we look at ourselves through the mirror. What happens when we look through the mirror? Something called a reflection of light happens. What's the meaning of reflection? Reflection, it's the bouncing of waves of a surface. It's like playing basketball. You bounce the ball and the ball return back. So, when the light falls on any mirror, reflection of light occurs. What the meaning of reflection? It's the bouncing of waves of a surface. How reflection occurs? Reflection occurs by a law called law of reflection. And the law of reflection explains how mirrors work. This is a plane mirror. Okay, and this is the surface of the plane mirror. And this is a source of light, any source of light, natural or artificial, as we took before. So when the source of light falls on the surface of mirror, this ray is called the incident ray. This, called, uh, this ray is called incident ray. And from the other side, this is called a reflected ray. And the ray, a reflected ray, it reflects the light from the surface of the mirror to our eyes. Suppose that this is an imaginary line, it's not a real line. And from this line to this line, there is an angle. And from this line to this line, there is an angle. So the angle between the incoming ray, or it's called the incident right light ray, and the surface, this angle, the angle I, is equal to the angle between the reflected light ray and the same surface. So that means this angle there between the incident ray and the mirror equals to the angle between the mirror and the reflected ray. This is called the law of reflection and this explains how mirrors work or how mirrors reflect light. What are the types of mirrors? There are three types of mirrors. The first type, plane mirror. Second, concave mirror. Third, convex mirror. What is plan mirror? Plan mirror, as this is a plan mirror, okay? As you look through this plan mirror, you find yourself exactly, it reflects the exact copies or the exact, exact image, but um, Instead of your right hand, you will see left hand. Instead of your left hand, you will see right hand. It just reflects the image as exact copies. Exact copies, you see yourself, but in the opposite direction because the light rays are reflected. We will see together this video how the light is reflected by a plan mirror. What 
is the second type of mirrors. It's called concave mirror. And as we know before, the concave mirror has the curve from inside. This is a concave mirror. It reflects the light. Yes, it reflects the image. Yes, but it's a curve from inside. What happens when the light falls on the concave mirror? First, if the image is close, you will find that the image is big or enlarged. But when you move away, the image is reversed or upside down. So the concave mirror reverses the image of the object, but not first. When the object is close, the image is big. When you move away from the concave mirror, you find that the image is upside down or reverse the image. Look at this picture. This is a bowl. When the bowl is near to the concave mirror, look at the bowl, is a big. Move away, upside down. Near, big. Away, upside down. And this is uh, the function or the effect of the concave mirror to the object. Like what? We use the concave mirror in the telescope to gather lights. Can you remember the, type, the telescopes that we took before? Um, they are made of mirrors and lenses. The mirrors that are in the telescope are concave mirror. They are um, um, used to gather light. And most of us have this concave mirror at our home, at our room, yani home, room, bed, bathroom, and so on. Uh, to uh, use them to put makeup and uh, shaving mirrors for the boys. So the type of mirrors in the telescope are concave mirror to gather light and the type of um, mirrors that we use in putting makeup for the girls and shaving for the boys, it's concave mirror. Closer to it, the image is big. Away from it, the, major, the image is small and reversed. Let's watch together this movie about the concave mirror. Topic, concave mirror. <laughs> Why is your reflection upside down on a spoon? Hmm. Hmm? Wow. Looks like you're getting ready to go for a party. <laughs> Why don't you stand here and then look into the spoon? <laughs> don't worry. Your image appeared upside down because of the inward curve of the spoon. The surface of the spoon, which is curved inwards, acts like a concave mirror. You look confused. Let me explain. A concave mirror is a mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. Being curved inwards, it reflects or bounces back the light rays in a different manner. When you see yourself in a spoon, which is like a concave mirror, the light rays from your face fall on the top of the spoon and get reflected downwards. While the light rays from your feet fall on the bottom of the spoon and get reflected upwards. As a result, you see yourself upside down. Hmm. Now, the point where all these light rays meet is called the focal point. When you stand beyond this point, only then will you be able to see an inverted image of yourself. However, if you stand before the focal point, the image will look upright. So, what is the third type of mirrors? It's called convex mirror. What the, the convex mirror do to the image? Convex mirror, it produces image smaller than the object, but with a wide angle view. What that mean? Or how we use or where we use the convex mirror? We use the convex mirror in the stores for security. You find this mirror, it's curved outside, okay? It's like the pregnant woman have the curve outside. It's used in stores for security, and not that only. 
It's used to provide better view for drivers and vehicles. So the convex mirror produce image smaller than the object with a wide angle view. Yani it doesn't reverse the image. It doesn't. It produce a smaller image. How come? Let's watch together this video and you will know how the convex mirror works. Smart learning for all. Topic, convex mirror. Why is a <laughs> convex mirror used as a rear view mirror? Mm. <sighs> wow, what an amazing car. <laughs> but your rear view mirror is missing. Huh? <laughs> No, don't use a concave mirror. Ah. It will usually show you magnified images. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah! See, I was correct. Mm. Now put the convex mirror and see ah. the result. Mm. Oh. Look. The image is much smaller, <laughs> right? Hmm. Do you know what the difference between the two mirrors was? Hmm. If we use a concave mirror for our car, we will not be able to see the vehicles behind us properly. Hmm. This is because the concave mirror will magnify the object and we will see a very enlarged image. Hmm. Thus, we require a mirror which gives us a wider view of the vehicles behind us. In this case, a convex mirror proves to be the right choice. <laughs> this is because a convex mirror forms a highly diminished image, thus making the traffic look much smaller. As a result, we can see a large number of vehicles oh. in a very small mirror. <laughs> so, by this slide, we finished our session. So, by this slide, we finished our session today. Thank you so much, my beloved students. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Dr. Marie was with you with grade six. Goodbye.